Hello. What's going on, man? What on, gentlemen? Hey, What's hey. up? What's up, Brian? Rocking the guy. What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, good to see you, bro. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. It was a good day. Wife and I had dinner and had some good surprises. Life was good. Thought I thought I'd get a birthday workout in with y'all. What's up? Good to see your face. Likewise, my friend. How I I've seen you've been doing some traveling in the mountains, man. I'm jealous. Yes, sir. Backpacking trips last couple weeks. Some good high elevation oh. training out there in Colorado. Oh, that's great, brother. Hey, guys, how you doing? Excellent. So this is my this is my first time joining this meeting. Yeah. I didn't know if this was like a meeting or a workout. So is this a workout or a meeting? It's a workout. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. All right. Well, I may have to join next week. I just, I just literally just finished like an hour and a half workout and sitting in my office. So <laughs> uh, I may. I, I'm probably gonna bow out, but I will uh, try to join you, gentlemen, next week. There is no try. I will. There we go. I like it. All right, man. Have a good day. There he is. Oh, we got it. Superstar in here. What about that? It's going to cut down to the volume on one of these. You log into two things. All right, give me a thumbs up. You hear me clear. All right. You're going to need, for today, you're going to need a light pair of dumbbells and a light medicine ball if you have it. If you don't have it, just get any shit you have around the house. doesn't matter. Something small, you can hold it in each hand for the dumbbells and a medicine ball, a rock, doesn't matter. Don't care. You'll figure it out. If you don't have exactly that, it doesn't matter. You're going to get plenty of work. And while I was logging in the second camera, I heard someone that was in here said, leaving or something? He wasn't staying? What was that? What was that about? So we were here for a meeting. This is a fucking meeting. A meeting for sweat and pain. So we're, our warm up is going to be across court. Once we we'll have to come up and, and let someone into this room, we're going to be doing a lot of movement across the floor. So we're going to take our time stretching our legs out in the beginning. You need some space, so you have this time to get that pair of dumbbells, get the medicine ball, and you're going to need some space for a shuffle. You can see how I'm shuffling across the floor here. So I'm, you set as much space as you can. It's a short shuffle. A long shuffle doesn't matter. Give yourself some room, some space to be able to move side to side, like a lateral shuffle across the floor. You're going to be doing that all freaking day, starting right now for the warm-up. So we're going to get warmed up with shuffling across the floor. Let me make sure everyone's got their space, get your stuff out. If any of you don't know Joe, Joe Anglum was the honor man of class 004. Right, Joe? Four? Honor man of 004. We had an honor man of 003 a couple weeks ago. And Joe was a 004. All right, so we're going to shuffle across the floor. We're going to start with a quad stretch. So pretty much we're shuffling across the floor. Each end, we're going to do an exercise on each end of the shuffle. So for now, all you're going to do is a quad stretch right, quad stretch left. Shuffle all the way across to the left, whatever space you have. Whatever direction you go to, you're doing that side first. Now quad stretch left, quad stretch right. Line across, right side goes first, then left. And zip it across. When you're holding those quad stretches, hold it for one to three seconds. 
or longer. You know how long you need to stretch it for. Either quick or short, but, but keep it dynamic. Keep yourself moving because you need to get those legs ready to work, ready to move. Stretch it, stretch it, glide across the floor. Stretch left, stretch right, and keep it moving. Wide, strong stance, put yourself across the floor. Quick stretches. So your only breaks this entire time are gonna be in between each set, like time, stop right there, in between each set of shuffling, because the next one, we're going right back to it. So now we're gonna do a shoulder stretch on each side. So shuffle across to your left. You're gonna fling your chest open, stretch left shoulder, fling it open, stretch right, and then just shuffle back across. Fling it open, stretch right, fling it open, stretch left. So whatever side you're going to, you're stretching that side first. And right now this shuffling seems like a joke, but later on, you'll probably be begging to get a break from the shuffling because you'll be doing this shuffle for a fucking hour straight. Glide across, fling it open, stretch. That's why we're gonna take our time warming up here because you need every freaking muscle in your body warmed up head to toe. Stretch right, stretch left, glide across. You're on the balls of your feet on this shuffle. Look at my feet when I'm shuffling. They're never coming close together. So wide athletic stance, ankle, knee, and hip, all slightly bent, glide across. Fling the chest, stretch shoulder left, fling the chest, stretch shoulder right, Zip it across. All right, we're going to knee hugs. Whatever side you're going to, you're going that side first. Knee hug right, knee hug left, shuffle it across. Knee hug left, knee hug right, and shuffle it. Keep moving, glide across the floor. We also have a graduate Z class 002 down the bottom there. Steve, iPhone at the bottom. Glide across, knee hug left, knee hug right. Zip it across. Hug that knee to your chest. Stretch it out. Go in A. If you can put your flip your phone the other way, it'll be better so you won't be up and down. I can see you on each side. Instead of going up and down, go one way. See, my camera won't be awesome, so it's going to give you a better camera. All right, we're going back to the arms. So you're gonna to go to the right, you're gonna do a low chest fling. So down here low, and then a right tricep stretch. Fling it low, tricep stretch. Fling it and stretch. Someone else joining the room. So just one side, line across, fling low, stretch left. Fling low, stretch right. Zip it across. Fling it, stretch it. Fling it, stretch the other tricep. Zip, zip, zip. Boom. Left tricep stretch, right tricep stretch. All right, we're going to hamstring stretch now. You're going to stretch the right hamstring. Lean forward. So your front leg is straight. Your back leg is bent. Lean forward and stretch that right hamstring. Come up, lean your chest open, and the other side. And right back to your shuffle. So on the left side, stretch left hamstring. Play it. Stretch right. And shuffle. Zip. Stretch right. Lean the chest. Stretch left, fling the chest, shuffle it across. Open it up. Fling it, right across, right back across. Zip it. Go across a couple more times each side. Just get moving, just get the vibrator free to work. Time, shake it out, shake it out. Stretch your quads, your shoulders, your glutes, whatever else you need to stretch. Keep moving. Active, shake it, twist it, stretch it. Get some glute stretches in. A little more shoulder stretch, whatever you need to do before we get into the first round. This round's gonna be all pretty long. The only break in between is explain what the next exercise is. So this first round, we're gonna ease into it. It's gonna be just body weight. Starting off pretty simple exercise on the end. So you're doing that same shuffle, same stuff we were doing. You're doing that all day. All you're hitting is two jumping jacks each end of your shuffle. So you get onto the all the way to your far side, two jacks, right back across. Speed, you need speed here. Go, we begin, start. Shuffle across, two jacks on the right. Shuffle across, two jacks left. Keep rolling. Just getting warmed up. Just getting the blood flowing, getting the sweat going. Getting the body moving. Keep gliding across two jacks. 
Zip it across. Two jacks right, two jacks left. Light of your feet, balls of your feet. Bounce in your step. Glide, glide, glide. Arms all the way overhead. Just a fast paced movement. It's just two jacks. You see two jacks, pop, zip across, pop, pop. Zip right back across. Just because we get warmed up doesn't mean you're close. Two on the right, two on the left. Get used to that shuffle. It's going to happen all day. You're going to do this thousands of fucking times today. And con. So next you're going four split jacks on each end of your shuffle. Split jacks are just front to back jacks. It's here from the side. It's just here. Legs only. Four split jacks at each end of the shuffle. Three, two, one, go. So you're shuffling across. Four split jacks. Glide across. Four on the other side. Zip it. Zip it. Speed. This is the easy round. Body weight round is a joke. Bouncing your step. Lighting your feet. On the balls of your feet, you're shuffling, not your heels. Your heels should be elevated up the floor the entire time. You should have to slide a credit card underneath your heels the whole time. Zip across. Pop, 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 pop. Glide. Who's saying something? I can do. Yes, sir. I, I'm I'm trying to see if there might be uh, some kind of alternate exercise I could do for split jacks. I'm having a hard time doing those. Just step back, modify. Look, step back one at a time. Roger. And any of these, if you can't even do this shuffle, you just jog forward across the floor. Get your two exercises. Jog across the floor. Modification for everything. Glide, glide on the balls of your feet. Time. Stretch those legs because you're not going to get much of a chance. Look here. I'm going to show you how to stretch your calves real quick. Find a wall or something to put your feet up against. And you want to put your toes real high up against the wall, as high as you can, with your right leg. And then step all the way close into it with your right leg straight. You're going to get a real high, tight stretch at the calves. So put your right toes all the way up against the wall or a ball or something, anything you have. Step your body close in without bending your leg. So the foot that's against the wall, you're going to keep that leg straight. And it's going to get a real high, tight stretch. Now don't take that foot off the wall. Keep the right foot on the wall, but step back with your left leg. And then push your right knee forward. So first you stretch the right leg with the right leg straight. Now you're going to stretch the right leg with the right leg bent. So you're going to get lower part of your calf and your Achilles. You need to do both of these all day today. So you're stretching that same leg with the leg straight. You're going to feel high in your calves. Then step back and get that same foot against the wall. Push forward with the knee bent to stretch the lower part of your calves. You're on both sides. You straight leg on both sides and bent leg on both sides. Because you're going to do tons of stuff and we're having to become the warm-up. This is the warm-up to the fucking warm-up. All right, let's get back to the shuffle. We're doing one squat thrust each end of the shuffle. You should know a squat thrust by now. Squat down, jump back, jump in, come up, and shuffle. One squat thrust each end. Go. One squat thrust. And glide across. If you have to walk out squat thrust, you do what you got to do. Zip. Zip across. Light on your feet. Quick shuffle. All the way down there. Squat down, jump back, jump in, squat up. So you're not just leaning over at the waist. Squat down to get down there. It's not your little fucking burpee that you see on the internet. Where you just roll on the floor and you fucking hump the floor and you impregnate the floor. You're squatting down, jump back in, squat up. Abs are strong, back is straight, and you're jumping those feet back. Fast feet going across the floor. Zip it. Light on your feet. You need to be smooth, gliding, fast and light, aggressive. One more shot. And 
time. You're going to do one crawl out each end of the shuffle. Crawl out is a wide stance. Wide in the shoulder rip. Squat down. Walk the hands all the way out. Push up position. Walk them back in. Squat back up. Going in three, two, one, go. Shuffle, one crawl out. And zip, shuffle across. You're in every single position. You're going to be working your entire body. You're feeling crazy? Add a fucking push up in. Crawl out, one push up. Crawl back in, shuffle across. Crawl out, push up, crawl in, back on your horse. Zip it across the floor. Light on your feet. Bounce on your step on the balls of your feet. Keep moving. If your back is straight on those crawls, don't slump over at the waist. You're squatting down to get down there. Eight, keep your feet further apart when you do a crawl out. Further apart, further apart. They should be wider than the shoulder width when you do a crawl. So you fuck your knees up. Time. We're going into four high knees each end of your shuffle. Four high knees each end. Simple stuff. Going in three, two, one, go. Shuffle across. Pop, 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 pop. Right back on your horse. Pop, 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 pop. Zip across. Four high knees. Live. Shuffle. Zip it. Kick across. Move, move is a fast paced movement. Pump those knees. You just modify those. You just go alternating. March is in place. Do what you got to do. Glide, 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 move. Make you light on your feet. This is the easy round, the body weight round. This is a joke. The warm up round. You move it. Abs are tight when you're doing the knees. Use your abs to throw those knees up there. Bounce in your step. Finish it strong. Time. Right away, we're going to four mountain climbers each end of your shuffle. Four mountain climbers. Look for a fucking mountain climber. This is the mountain climber. One foot's forward, one foot's back. You jump and switch. Both of you are working. Not just some toe drag, knuckle dragging bullshit. Both legs working and pumping. Going in three, two, one. Boom, go, move. So get down there. One, two, three, four. Shuffle right out of that. Shuffle out. Flow into it. And shuffle. Keep moving. Zip across. Bounce in your step. Light on your feet. Keep gliding. Keep moving. Four climbers pop up. Get up and down quick, smooth, efficiently. Keep rolling. Bouncing your step. Light on your feet. Glide, glide, we're moving, we're working. Now we're starting to get fucking warmed up. Blood should be flowing. Heart rate should be elevating. Body temperature should be increasing. One more time on each side. One more time on each side. Suck it up. Just your body weight. Just shuffling across the damn floor. Time. Second I say time, you better be grabbing a quick stretch because you know you're only going to have. Enough of a break for me to tell you the next exercise. Stretch those calves, stretch those hamstrings, glutes, quads. We're doing two squat jumps 
Each end of the shuffle. Two squat jumps. Go. Shuffle across. Two squat jumps. Drive across. Get low on the hips and heels. Head up. Chest out. Explode up. Not leaning over at the waist. Look at my squat jump from the side view. Upper body is straight up and down. Right across. <coughs> zip it, zip it, zip it. When you're shuffling, you have a slight bend in your ankle, your knee, and your hip. All slightly bent when you're shuffling. So a strong athletic stance. Gliding across the floor, springing, bouncing. Smooth shuffle. Whip it, whip it across. Get up there, get some air. Time. We have two plank jacks coming up each end of your shuffle. Plank jack is push up position. Feet jump apart together two times. So basically you have to squat thrust to get down there. It's technically a squat thrust to two plank jacks. Three, two, one, go. Shuffle, squat thrust down, two jacks, jump forward, come up, two plank jacks. So feet just jump apart and together two times. So you obviously have to jump back in to get up, so it's really a squat thrust. Two plank jacks, push up position, feet jump apart and together. No, the jack is at the bottom, not at the top. Push up position, beat your shuffle apart. Then you just get up and go right back to the shuffle. Squat down, jump back, bounce the feet, jump forward, back on your fucking horse for the shuffle. Chain it together. Light it. Sit across. Whip, whip, whip. Fast, light on your feet. Time. You're going two reverse lunges. Each end of your shuffle. The left side, you're just stepping back with the left leg, two times, two reverse lunges, same leg, stepping back with the same leg. Then two right reverse lunges on the right side. Three, two, one, go. So right leg reverse lunge on the right. Don't rush the lunge. Go fast on the shuffle, but slow it down for the lunge. Or else you're gonna fuck your knees up. Sit on the hip and the heel and the glute of the front leg. So right side, you double pump in that right lunge. Left side, double pump in the left lunge. Zip across. Back on the hip and heel, both knees come to 90 degrees. Control it, zip across. Two on the right. Two on the left. Right across, keep it moving. Last one, one more time on the other side. Time, stretch your legs, get your dumbbells ready, get your dumbbells out. Whole next round, you're gonna need your dumbbells, get them. They don't need to be too heavy. I'm using, oh, I'm only using 20 pounders. You don't need that much weight. Get them out and stretch your legs because if those shuffles fuck, screwed up your legs enough as it is, just realize you're not going to be holding weight with you while you're shuffling and doing exercise on each end. So your arms and legs are both going to get fried here. You don't need a ton of weight. I'm using 20, so I'm guessing 20 is the, the max you should probably be using, if even that. Shake it, stretch it, get ready for the next round. 
Active recovery. Keep moving. Keep walking. Keep stretching. While we're shuffling across the floor, no matter what the exercise is, you're holding those weights at the shoulder rack position right here. Not resting on your shoulders. Elbows tucked in. You're holding them right here while you're shuffling. You see they're not touching my body. Just elbows into the sides. I'm holding them at the shoulder rack position while we're shuffling. All right, scoot your dumbbells up. We're doing four alternating presses. One, two, three, four. Each end of your shuffle. So you shuffle across at the shoulder rack. Go, begin, get to your side. One, two, three, four. Back to the shoulder rack. Shuffle it across. Oh, yeah, I'm going to suck shuffle with these. Hold out your shoulders with the shuffle unless you can't for some reason. I just need to be strong here while you're moving. You're carrying a lot of extra weight. Go out across. Humping it, humping it, keep moving. Hold them tight, hold them tight. Crushing grip. Already your shoulders, your forearms, your biceps, you're going to be feeling it. If not, then it's too light. Pump it. One more on the other side. Breathe it out for those. One, two, three, four. Time. We're down to that half a second. You're going two squats each end of the shuffle. So you're staying here all day. You shuffle across, hit your two squats, back to the shuffle. You're staying at the shoulder rack the whole time. Going in three, two, one. Scoop them up. Shoulder rack. Shuffle across. Two squats. Zip it across. On the hips and heels. Full deep squat. Glide across the floor. They will not have dumbbells. You all have dumbbells, right? Lighten your feet. You got to adjust for that extra weight while you're shuffling. Those abs tight. Two full deep squats. Time. We're going for alternating bicep curls. So you're going to hold them here on the shuffle. Get to the end, and it's just going to be one, two, three, four. Get them back up and shuffle. Four alternating bicep curls. Three, two, one. Go. We're at the shoulder rack for the shuffle. One, two, three, four. Get them back up and move. Abs need to be tight while you're shuffling. Also tight while you're curling. So you don't arch the lower back. Zip it across. Keep moving. Breathe it out for each curl. Throw a little burst of air. Shuffle it across. Couple more. One more time each side. Deal with it. Work through it. That's tight. Crush it. Crushing grip. Time. The second you put them down, you're going to shake and stretch it. You know it's not going to be any break. It's just enough to hear what the next round is. So we're still with the shuffle. Still holding my shoulder rack. We're going squat to press. Just one time on each side. So you get to the side, they're here. You go full squat, thrust them up, back to your shoulders, and shuffle. One squat to press each end. Going in three, two, one, go, shuffle. Full squat, press it up, back to your shoulders, on the move. Glide across, zip across. 
Throw it, throw it up. Brace those abs and you push that weight overhead. Don't let your lower back arch. It's gonna to wanna to arch, don't let it. Way through the fucking ceiling if you have to. Like I just did. Sip across one more each side. One more each side. One full deep squat. Press. Time. We're going to go alternating curl to press. So it's just one each side. So they're here. You get to the right. Right arm goes first, curl, press, bring it back to the shoulder, left arm, curl, press, back to the shoulder, and shuffle. Whatever direction you go to, that arm is moving, is doing the curl to press first. Just one each side, that's it. Scoop them up, going in three, two, one. Shoulder rack, shuffle to the right, whatever direction. That arm goes first, get it back to the shoulder rack while the other arm goes. Both arms go on each side. It just depends what side you're going first. Curl the press. Right back to the shoulder rack and shuffle. Just one on each side. So curl the press left, curl the press right, back to your shuffle. Always get it back to the shoulder rack before you shuffle. Shoulders should already be fried. You with 10 or 15 pound dumbbells, your shoulders will be fried here. Curl press right, shoulder rack. Curl press left, shoulder rack, and shuffle. Suck it up. One more each side. Let me show. Time. We're going one squat to curl each end of the shuffle. So the weights are here on the shuffle. Keep the palms in. You're going to squat with them in between your legs and curl. Right back to the shoulder rack and you shuffle. Literally just one full squat to curl each end of your shuffle. Going in three, two, one, scoop them up. At your shoulders, go right across, squat, curl. It's one on each side, that's it. Zip across. Those arms move, move across fast. Full deep squat, way deep down your hips and heels. Like those weights almost touch the freaking floor. Couple more. We're through it. Crushing grip. Last one. Last one. Finish it. Ah. All right, with the dumbbells, we're doing one squat thrust each end of the shuffle. So you hold them here for the shuffle. You get to the end. Put the weights down. Your hands stay on the weights. And you bring the weights right back up. So you have to get that extra curl to get it back to the shoulder rack. One squat thrust, each end of the shuffle. Going in three, two, one, scoop them up. Go right across, squat thrust. That squat thrust is actually a fucking break because you get to get the weights out of your hands and you get to get a break from shuffling. So you should be thanking me we're adding in a dumbbell squat for us as a gift for a fucking break. Squat down, 
jump back, jump in, curl them up as you squat up. So it's basically a curl, squat to curl, in between there. Curl them up, glide across the floor. Work through it. It's only a couple more exercises with the dumbbell round for now. Suck it up one fucking rep at a time. That's all you gotta worry about. That next rep right in front of you. That's the only one. That's your target. Work your way through it. Now focus on the next one. Don't round your back in those squat thrusts. You have to squat down. One more each side. Use that side. Zip it across. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. Curl it up. Tug. Shake it. Sticking with the dumbbells. You got one crawl out. That's with the weights. Walking them forward on the crawl out. Holding the weights in your hands. Walking them back. Squatting up. Back to the shoulder rack. Don't let the weights slide. They're going to want to just slide into the push-up position. You need to pick them up and clank them out there. Step by step. Going in three, two, one, go. Cross. Weight right your shoulders for the shuffle. Wide stance. Walk the weights out. Full push up position. One push up. Crawl them back in. Curl them up. Shoulder rack. Glide across. Squat down. Push. Curl in. Squat to curl up. The back straight. Don't slide the weights. Walk them out. Inch by inch if you have to. Do what you gotta do. Keep rolling. Keep fucking moving. Five by before you stop. Fucking die before you quit. Curl them up. Zip across. Push up on the out position. A couple more. Each side. Finish it strong. Work through it. Take it out. That's it for the dumbbells with the exercise on each end. But we still have the dumbbells for a couple more little quick sets. We're going to hold them in different positions while we're moving. With no exercise on each end. Shake those arms out. All right, so now you're doing no exercise on the end. We're back to that alternating press, but you're doing that while you're shuffling. There's nothing on the end, it's just changing freaking direction. A couple quick sets to finish off the dumbbells. Let's roll. Get them up. So you're shuffling across while you're alternating these. Find a rhythm, find a flow. <laughs> Time is going to be quick little sets. This next set, you're shuffling, just holding them straight out in front of you. On the ends, you're bringing it down. Bring it back up, and you're shuffling, holding those weights right out in front of you. It's going to be fucking hard to hold them out there. Figure it out. Go. So on the ends, you bring them down. As you're shuffling, hold them straight out in front. Bring them down. Shuffle, hold them out. Bring them down. Fast you shuffle. Fast you get to bring the fucking things down. Shh. 
No break. Now hold them overhead and keep shuffling. No, you don't bring them down on the side. They stay up the whole time. Time. Dumbbells are done. Put them away. Get your medicine ball out. A light to medium medicine ball. You don't. If it's a dead weight, get a dead weight medicine ball if you have it. You don't need anything much heavier than 15, 20 pounds. Stretch your shoulders out, active recovery. We're moving, stretching. There are gonna be some just lifts with this, but there's also gonna be some slams. So if you just have a rock, slam it into the, to the grass. Do what you gotta do. The other times, just hold it. If you have a hard rubber, or just slam your fucking dumbbell, that'll work. If you have a hard, if you have a hard bouncing medicine ball, you should not be using that. If you do, make sure you do not do this. Because when you slam, this is how we're slamming. If you have a hard bounce one, it's going to hit there, crack up. I think you'll break your fucking jaw doing that. But the ones that bounce back up. So if you have only a bouncing one, you need to modify your slam. If it's not dead weight. If it's those hard shell, like Peter, looks like you have a hard bouncing one. Yeah, that is not dead weight. If you lean over on the slam, the way we're doing it, you're going to break your fucking face and knock your teeth out. So you're going to be just here and letting it bounce back into your hands. Don't lean over. So slam it down and let it, no, don't lean over. It's gonna hit you in the fucking face. With a bouncing one, let me get a bouncing one to fucking show you. If you have a dead weight, just get a fucking dead weight. So this is how we want to do a better small slam with a dead weight. You want to drop down like this. Even if you have a rock or a stone, she's coming right back into my hands. If I did that with this bouncing one, that's going to hit me directly, boom, right in the face, under the chin. So if you have a dead weight, you're here. Stiff leg, and just slamming it straight down. Straight arm, straight leg. I've seen many people knock their fucking teeth out, jack up their jaws. All right. Holding this out your chest for the shuffle. We're just doing one slam each end of your shuffle. Let's go. Shuffle across. Reach overhead. Boom. Slam right back to your chest and shuffle. Explosive fucking slam. Maximum ah, effort. Every time. Boom. Smash it. Glide across. Hard slam, bash it down. Ha! One max effort slam, hard as you can. Put a fucking hole in the ground. Boom! Lean over the waist, let that thing pop right back into your hands. Maximum effort, hard as you can. Bash it, boom! Let's go one more each side. Ah! Sticking with the medicine ball. We're gonna go two. Jack press up on each end. So you're shuffling the ball at your chest on the end. One, two. So when the feet go apart, ball goes up overhead. Two, jack press up. Each end of your shuffle. Let's do it. Get your ball. Moving. Ha, ha. Two jack press up. So feet start together, 
As you push the ball up, feet go apart. Two times. Up and apart, down and together. Abs tight while you're shuffling. Bounce it out. Light on your feet, work through it. Control the damn ball. Strong abs. Your core is holding you together. One more time each side. Ah! This round we're doing one jumping slam each end. So you're shuffling. When you get to the end, you're going to squat down, jump up, reach overhead, boom! A big jumping slam. So shuffle across. Again, you're drop, dipping down first to wind up, boom! Jumping slam. The fucking explosiveness. Three, two, one, boom, go. So bend down first before you jump to wind up that movement. Zip across the floor. Walk down, explode, jump and slam. More, bit strong. Ah. We have two jack press out coming up on each end. So now you push the ball in front of you. Fully extend your arms while the feet come apart. Two jack press out. Each end of the shuffle. Going in three, two, one, go. So two jack press out. Have strong while you're gliding. Bouncing your step. If your weight's light, you better be moving super fucking fast. No way I should have a 20 pound medicine ball and be moving faster than you if you got lighter. Couple more. Work through it. We're gonna go two kneeling slam each end of the shuffle. So you're still holding the ball in your chest in the shuffle. When you get to the end, you're gonna to touch the ball to the floor first. So you could go onto your knees without bashing your knees. Then one, two, put your hands on the ball, pop back to your feet, get into your chest, and shuffle. Let's do it. Two kneeling slams. Three, two, one, go. Shuffle. Touch the ball. Hop to your knees. Two slams. Hands on the ball. Spring back to your feet. Curl it up to your chest. And shuffle. Two kneeling slams. Back to your chest. Right across. Hop back up to your feet. In between, don't smash your knees on the ground. Control it. Two hard slams. Be 
finish it off. We got two split jack press up on each end. So feet go front to back while ball goes up and down. Two split jack press up each end. You don't need any damn break. It's just a fucking shuffling workout. Three, two, one, go. Shuffle. Split jack press up for two. Press it up two times. Fly across. Fast feet. Looking for speed on this one. Say something. Time. All right, this round, you're going to do a twist slam. One twist slam to the left. On the right side, a twist slam to the right. So you're here at your chest with a shuffle. That last step. Wind it up, pivot, drop into a twist slam. Then shuffle across to your right and flow right into a twist slam right. Your feet need to pivot. You need to turn your whole body sideways. Look at my feet. So I'm winding up the opposite direction and then look at my, on the balls of my feet, pivoting, turning almost 90 degrees. You're also gonna fuck your knees up. Let's go. One twist slam left, one twist slam right. So shuffle to the left, wind it up, Twist, boom, right to the shuffle to the right. Twist, boom. Explosive. Get low to get that ball. Bend your knees. Don't lean over at the waist or over at your back. Head up, chest out the whole time. Couple more each side. Split jack press out two times on each side. So pushing the ball front and back while the feet go front to back. Split jack press out two times each side. Going in three, two, one, go. Shuffle across, jack, jack, shuffle. Just two reps on each side. Zip it across. Couple more. Pump it out. You don't need a ton of these. The faster you go, the less we have to do. Time. All right, now we're doing those holds. While we're shuffling. All you're doing on the end is releasing the hold. So we're gonna start overhead. Holding it overhead while you shuffle on the end, you bring it to your chest, bring it back up and shuffle. So the shuffling with a hold overhead. Going in three, two, one, go. All the way overhead, shuffle, bring it down, right back up and shuffle. One press on each end, pretty much. Time. 
Same thing, holding it out in front of you. You're gonna hold it straight out in front. While you're shuffling on the end, bring it to the chest, push it back out, holding out. Let's roll. Hold out in front of your chest. Full distance, go. On the end, just bring it in. That's a break for your shoulder. And push it back out. Let's go, roll strong. Suck it up, brace those abs. Those abs are just gonna hold that ball out here. Not just your shoulders. Your shoulders will not be able to move alone. Tighten up your freaking core. Time. This one, all you're doing, pressing up the whole time you shuffle. Just non-stop like we did with the dumbbells earlier. Pressing up while you're shuffling. Finishing off your damn shoulders. Get your ball up. Going in three, two, one, go. So you're just pumping while you're shuffling. Find your rhythm. You never stop pumping. You're pressing up and down. Find a rhythm with your steps and it works. Pumping out. We're flowing. Right into pressing out while you're shuffling. In and out from your chest. Shuffling. Conditioning those chest and shoulders and core. Let's do it from your chest, go. Fast you go. The less we have to do, pump them out. Ha, 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 ha. Right back the other way. Whoa. down and we are done right away grab a shoulder stretch 30 seconds hold on that shoulder stretch you can walk while you're doing it if you have to big deep breaths control your breathing in through your nose for a couple of seconds out through your mouth for a couple of seconds after 30 seconds fling that open and get the other side You just condition the fuck out of your shoulders. Now you need to recover the fuck out of them. Ease out of the stretch. Let's go forward, shoulder circles, just to keep them loose. So they don't stiffen up. If you have enough post-workout, shake ready immediately when you're done with your workout. And come backwards, back in shoulder circles. While you're still moving. Let's go quad stretches. Hold the quad 30 seconds. Heel comes right to your glute. Bouncing on that other leg. Leg you're standing on should be slightly bent. Ease out of the stretch. Don't let it snap out. And right to the other quad. Surely be bringing your heart rate down. Consciously bringing your heart rate down. You need to control your breathing or else it's gonna fucking control you. Ease it out. Find a wall or whatever else, even a dumbbell, you can stretch your calves against. Just on the handle of a dumbbell. Put your feet, toes right up on it, with your legs straight. So you get high up on the cat, do a ton of shuffling, come with your feet. Stretching the calves. Keep that same foot on there and step back. And now bend that knee to get lower part of the calves, right of the Achilles. So stretch the calves with the legs straight, and then also stretch the calves with the knee bent. You're gonna hit a completely different part of your calves. 
Knees out of it. Other side straight. Step back, keeping that same foot on the stretch, and bend that knee forward of that same calf. You're, if you're when you're running, you're done hiking, or you're done whatever you're doing, doing bouncing like this, your feet start cramping up. Get a lacrosse ball or a golf ball, and you just roll your foot on it. I keep a golf ball and a cross ball all the time in my backpack, in my car, obviously in the gym, in the house. Just roll the top of your foot. I just sit in a chair and roll your foot on it, a cross ball or a golf ball. You can also use it for rolling knots in your back and your neck. So you should have that stuff to dig, dig deep in those knots. All right, let's come up on the camera and unmute. I want to hear where everyone's mile time is at. Peter. Yep. Where's your mile time at? Um, I'm about uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes per mile. And uh, I'm reaching about uh, two, three, four miles every week. Green. My mile time is between 7.05 and 7.15. Consistent. Today I worked on that breathing technique you were talking about. And I did about a 7.43, but I kept my breath even the entire time I ran. Lock. At 8.30. A boot. About eight minutes. White. Uh, the one I ran yesterday was a 7.15, but I've been down below seven. I would fucking act like a bitch yesterday, I guess. Do the protesters come to your house with the signs telling you you need to change your name because you're racist? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Logan. I'm, uh, I'm still doing the road. I'm not running yet. I'm still working on the running leg. Been talking with an uh, instructor Ray about it. But I'm right at 7.50. What about walking a mile? Can you walk a mile straight? Oh, easy. Yes, sir. No, no problem. I, I've, never, I've never timed it, but I could probably do it, if I had to guess, somewhere between 12 and 13 minutes. Just walking. Maybe a little have faster. You done, never have, you done the, have you done the full fitness test yet? Roger, but I, but I did rowing. I, we uh, we subbed it for the row. If you do it walking, you'll still could get it under. You could walk the fucking mile in the beginning. In the end, if you're doing it 12 minutes, you could walk it and still get it in under 75 minutes. Okay, Roger. Too easy. Start practicing a, a mile walk. Get used to it. You need to get used to walking distances. Roger. Have anyone been doing more than a mile? I want you all to start getting three mile runs in. I don't care what your time is. Get a three mile run in without stopping. You have to stop in the beginning, run, walk, run, walk. We start getting a three-mile run. I want to see your time draft for a three-mile run. It's time to fucking step it up. Is anyone doing three-mile runs yet? Right now, currently? White, what's your times? Uh, usually, my when I get higher in mileage, I'm using weight, so I'm about 12 minutes a mile. All right, I'm not talking about like a hike. I'm talking about a run. Let's get, we want to get the long hikes in also, but you need to get runs in also. Three-mile actual run with no weight, no packs, just fucking running. Rod. Just to get conditioned. Rod. So we got two graduates, or three graduates in here. We got one from class one, from class two, and class four. So, Crawl, I want you to share with these gentlemen how is how has this group helped or transformed or changed your life in any way since you, because you, now you've been a year probably about since you graduated. What kind of impacts has had in your life in the last year? Well, it's given me much more confidence. Uh, I went into the project with extreme amount of anxiety and I don't have any of that anymore. And after going through the project, I decided to quit dentistry and retire. And that's what I've been doing now. So that gave me the confidence to do that. And the confidence to fucking work out with sunglasses on indoors like Stevie motherfucking wonder. Look at that. Their prescription. <laughs> and how old are you? How old are you? 55. 55 years old, he graduated a year ago. And I get motherfuckers on the phone with me that are 30 years old telling me they're afraid to do it, they can't do it, it's gonna be too fucking hard, they're not young anymore, and all this other bullshit. So his fucking old ass, just think about it, look at it, look, just think of him in those sunglasses. When you're at the fucking project, you're ready to quit. There we go. Look at Joe. that young. Yes, sir. 
Any words of wisdom you want to share with these fucking people? You got to make a commitment right now because this is this is uh, this isn't just like you know a, a, a workshop or a boot camp that you're gonna go and you're gonna do three days and then it's over. This is this becomes a lifestyle and a commitment for for the rest of your life to be better and to make do the shit that you've been putting off every single day and finding more reasons why to step up as a man, step up as a leader, step up as a better husband, father, brother, you name it. Like this is, you are about to go through a spiritual a rebirth. And so every single day you just, whatever that why is for you, this is gonna, this is gonna be the foundation for everything that you wanna build moving forward. So I, 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 I want to affirm you. I want to say just keep going. But this, this now is, is a, it's a serious commitment to being better every single day, not just for, for any of us, but for yourself and for, for everything you want in your life. So I commend you, but the real work, is, this is nothing. This is just the warm-up, like Steve said. It's just the warm-up. Brent, how, how does the, this whole process affect you, like, on a daily basis? How does it, in, like – inject into your life on a regular daily basis, like a subconscious basis every day? Yeah, I mean, honestly, one of the first things that goes through my head when I, a lot of times before I even get out of bed, I'm halfway through the creed, which you guys will find out what that is if you don't know that already. I don't know if that's something you guys introduced before or not, but um, it, it just it just flows through my head as I'm, as I'm getting out of bed, getting going. Um, it's just the, just, just the way that I start my day now. And so the way that I mentally attack the day is different than, than what it was before. And, you know, just to piggyback on what Joe said, I think, you know, like he said, just getting started, put in the work now so that you can get the most out of the experience and continue to go from it. There's a reason why the three of us are, are still on this, on this call and still plugged into the group because, you know, the real, the real great stuff comes from what you do after the project, not even within it. So. How many of you had a hard time in this workout today? Was it hard? A, a, a difficult workout, just moving those weights and one to ten. How hard was this workout today, Peter? One to ten. How hard was this? It's a, uh, it's a six. Green. Well, the workout itself was probably about an eight, but I put eleven into it. I, I kicked my own ass today. Lock. I'll go six, seven. <clears throat> Challenging, but not demolishing. A mood. I can give it about an eight. Try and give it everything I have. Make it make it feel like a ten at least. White. Uh, for me, you can make any workout as easy or as hard as you want. So I try to put fuck. I, I try to put the fuck out. So it's a ten for me. Hogan. Yeah, hey, Roger. I, I was sitting at an eight or nine. I, I struggled a little bit trying to. Uh, adapt with some of the the exercises, so it slowed me down a little bit. But yeah, I, I'm smoked. And crawl, how about you? I, I, I think the one we did the other day with you, the same one was harder, and longer. Brent, uh, it depends on the part of the body. Shoulders, uh, I, shoulders, I hit pretty hard yesterday, so I would say uh, it was pretty high up there, eight nine in the shoulders. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, seven six seven. It's good, good challenge. Yo. Yeah, that's where I was at. I was at a seven with the shoulders. That was probably a nine. Shoulders are shot today, too. But um, cardio felt good. But now and you, it reveals where you're weak, your weaknesses, things you got to keep working on. So That right there is the exact reason why I just asked where you guys felt one out of ten, to see, okay, what part was easy for me to do this? And whatever part was easy, you need to fucking make it hard, no matter what you're doing. I, I could do jumping jacks for ten minutes, and when I'm done, I'll be fucking – Wiped For out. Sure. You go fucking all out. That's how you should be doing it. Fucking busting your ass all the time. This workout should have been a fucking eight and a half, nine for everyone. If it's not, that just means you didn't move fast enough. You didn't lose heavy enough weight. You didn't do enough reps in between. You didn't shuffle fast enough. It means you went in the cruise control. It's easy to cruise on that shuffle. It's not easy to make yourself go a little harder, especially when no one's watching. So you need to think about that. And, and, and this should be real where if your cardio was good here or felt good, that doesn't tell you that your cardio is good. That tells you you need to fucking pick it up on your cardio. That's the way I see it. If you're good at something and it felt easy, that probably means you just are cruising on that. It means you need to find a way to challenge yourself on the cardio. 
If the shoulders are shot, my shoulders are fucking done too. I have a fucking broken hand and I'm doing this shit. And I'm going to find a way to fucking make it hard no matter what the hell I'm doing. So make everything hard. Everything you do, find a way to make it harder. The shit that's weak, obviously get better. The shit that feels easy, it's probably easy because you're good at it. That's why it's easy. Find a way to make the easy fucking hard all the time. Because this today was not even a warm-up to a warm-up, which you're about to do in November. This is a joke. All right. If anyone has anything else, we're fucking done. Anyone have any questions, any concerns over this net last week? All right. We're good. I'll see you all later. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, thank you. And Steve, thank you. Guys, jumping on with us. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us, man. Appreciate thank you. it. You guys. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for having us. Later, guys.